When I look down and you throw 30 chunks and the shark just spins and rolls and sucks Smile down with us, every smiling. single chunk that there was. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Some days the uh, you get the bear. Yeah. Some days the bear gets you. Absolutely. That's, that's right. Zimrad's Into the Blue, presented by Yellowfin, with Captain Scott Walker and Captain Steve Roger. You need to get this stuff. Watch it. I'm getting it, man. Yeah, get this. Get this. This is the good stuff. Watch this. This is the good stuff. Watch this. Oh, you got it. Watch it, man. I got it. Wow, man, happy to have you here and show us your uh, your knowledge that you got in this area. Happy to be here, buddy, happy to be here. Glad you guys invited me. Got a beautiful place we're staying here, Resort Worlds, Bimini. Doesn't get any better around here. No, man. And what do you do, you try to shoot over here whenever the weather's good, maybe once a month? Yeah, we try to make it more than once a month. Okay. Get out here, stay here, you know, bring the girl. What's up? Deep drop, tuna fish, there he is. This is my first the time in Bimini, so we fired up. I brought a big, strong guy. All right? <laughs> All right. I can push after, a button real well. After getting beat okay. up by them tunas, oh. I need somebody with some... Show me, how, show me some, how to catch a big tuna, would you? I need oh. somebody with some muscles. <laughs> I'm ready. I'm ready. You know, I brought my buddy Kyle over. He, uh, he He's uh, familiar with the area. He comes here a lot. He knew where to go. Um, Lean on know, him heavily for a lot of info. It's a lot of work to sit there and cut that bait and fish and constantly be out there uh, keeping those fish chummed up. You know, you got to work hard to get them up there. You got a lot of sharks, you know, that are, that are eating your bait. You're pulling it out of the way. You're trying to get it behind the shark. Somebody's hooked up to a shark, so then you're trying to slip one in past the shark as that one's occupied. Uh, and, and you almost need, I would say, three is the minimum amount of people you need if you're going to go tuna fishing over here in Bimini. Kyle, fishing like this for you all the time? Hell yeah. <laughs> this is how we do it over here. So I was going to do an intro for my buddy who comes over here all the time. Uh-oh. Kyle. Yeah. And uh, unfortunately, Scott interrupted it with catching a dolphin. Already, as soon as we stop. Steve, you going to grab this guy for me? Yeah, man. He's just right into it. I'll grab that dolphin as soon as you tire him down, Walker. All right. Make him sleepy. Make him sleepy. Got quite the... Uh... Quite the fishing hole here. Hey, you got cut, where's the cutting board? I saw it. There it right is. there, yep. I wanted to switch to lighter tackle, but he ate my chunk. Or I could let you guys know what was going on. As soon as we got here, boom. Look at the colors on that fish. Beautiful thing. Don't miss him now. I'm gonna cut up some fresh chunks here. Oh, there you go. Freshy freshies. Sardines will work, but. No, we do. We use the tunas back home. Use you do? the yeah. no, For sorry. anything. Yeah. That red meat makes fresh, it happen. Fresh. We got yeah. a couple more black fins in there. We've run low, but we're doing all right. It's just the big ones starting to mark on there. We gotta get you gotta back get at on it. Them. Lunch break's over. That's it, time to work. You want Thank that you, hook Stevie. or you want me no, to cut I'll it? No, I'll get another one. You still marking? Yeah. Hey, that's a good thing about a long leader, Scott. <laughs> Just keep cutting and cutting. Your head, he's getting tight. Well, that's going to go right into our lunch. Dang. <laughs> it's going to be a nice box when we're done. Simrad's Into the Blue, presented by Yellowfin is brought to you by Hawks K Resort, the only key you'll need. Bubba Blade, the ultimate sportsman's knife. Yeti, built for the wild. Shimano, yellow fin, only in a yellow fin. 
and by Key West, Spear One Charters, and by Sea Deck. Well, that's what the deal is. Them tunas are just staying with them sharks, you know? Yeah, they're not coming up. There's some good fish in there, too. Here comes the birds, here comes the noise. Sharks are just going after it. Look at them, like a vacuum cleaner. Oh, okay. Whammy, just, there's the police sharks are following your oh. line down. Oh, the yellowfins are right behind the boat. Big, yeah. oh, 60 my pounds. Right Look on at it. He's eating the chunks. Right. He's, uh, he's trying to get ahead of the shark. Right. Oh, man. Oh, here comes a bigger one. Oh, look at him. Look at oh, him. Look no, at him. Oh, no, 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 you might be. Come on. <laughs> uh, what did the yellowfin bite? It's eating oh. the chunks. He just got in front of the, the shark. Yeah, they're the coming tuna? through. They're, they're they got tired of waiting. The tuna chunk or the. Oh, that was no, beautiful. No, they're eating the freebies. There's another one right behind the shark right yeah, there. Yeah, I threw some tuna chunk there. Where? You see him? Yeah. He's right, he just swam right, watch that last piece right there underneath. It's gonna get whacked. <laughs> I'm gonna throw some of these way out there, keep them away. You get the chunks below in there, so that, I mean, those, were, those were good fish. Down. No, 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 oh, you did it. All right, my turn. Here's the elephant, here's the elephant. You're welcome. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> that elephant is oh. right here. They're down there. I see them. Here they come right again. There, yep. Oh, here comes a nice one. Come on, come get on. through there and eat it. Come on, come on, come on. Gotta get fired up. It, the 60 pounder keeps rolling right into the, eating the front, front edges. All right, here we go. The elephant. Yeah, you got him? Yeah, baby. Oh. The shark's are right after him. Already? Yeah, the shark just turned right on him. Hold on, I think you're around me. I gotta. Let me get onto you. I'm gonna go play with this guy. That's the one. That's the one right there. Put the skins to him. Put the heat Start. on him, Walker. Put the heat on him. It's on full, baby. I can't turn the handle. Oh, the look at the screen is just. Uh, you gotta get. I need to get a. I know, look at it. I need a picture of it. Oh, that. he got me. No. Uh, I'll be back. The Simrad was marking like crazy. We were actually watching. It was, it was really, really amazing because they talk about go with confidence. I mean, it is there because we were looking at the screen. You could see the, the heavier returns and you knew those were sharks because we're looking at them. The water's crystal clear. There's, there's 250 yeah. foot of viz there, you know, and it, it's unbelievable. And you can see the heavier returns and you knew that was those five sharks right under the boat. Then you would see the tuna fish, which you couldn't see. They got black backs for a reason. They're down low, you don't see them. So we're looking, and then all of a sudden, we'd see some tuna in the chum, eating the chum. You would see the actual yellowfins up there eating, and then you would look over at the Simrad, and what you would see is that whole thing do a, a jog up to the top, and then you would be like, it's gotta go, oh, there's yellowfin in his leg, yellowfin in his leg, ah, big one, and then, there's the shark. Shark in the slick. And, and, <laughs> and the shark would, when the sharks would show up, the tuna would drop down as you wouldn't see them. Back as to they, the screen. Back to the screen. Everything was down to the bottom. Good shot. Shark there's on. There's a shark over out. here. There's a shark over okay. here. Yeah, I saw yeah, the shark. It's got a head shake. That's a little tuna. Not the big one. He went right to it, turned, came back. Oh, up on here. the surface. <laughs> Look at him. Hiding. I need the full. Oh, he's, Is he chasing it? Yeah. Is he? <laughs> Oh, he just ate you. Oh. <laughs> Little yeah. guy. Got him on, Stevie. That's fine. There's, there's, he's got somebody looking after him. Oh, no. It's a shark. What? You got the shark? Yeah. Uh, he got me. Right, tuna was right in there with him. Is that a black one or a oh. yellow one? I didn't even look yet. Here, I'll be right there. Hold on. Black. You can just let that one go. Let him go? Yeah. Okay, bring him back here. I'll help you. Freaking out because the. Well, that's a shark. Have him. Oh! Woohoo! Look at that shark! Sorry, buddy, you're getting. I'm shark. so used to just oh. flipping <laughs> him in. Did he get him? No. He wants to. He tagged him? Oh! Nope. He's gonna get him now. Oh, shit! Got a blood trail. Thank you, sir. I'm so used to just flipping him right in. I wanted to throw him in the, in the cooler. That's yeah. the problem. Wait. No problem at all. That's one less shark for us. Wanna go forwards with that? Yeah, probably. I'm out of the way. But I don't see our plan working as well as we thought. No? <laughs> They're gathering.
These were silky sharks. Uh, it's a carcharhinid shark, uh, fairly common. Um, it's a pelagic species, uh, meaning you usually find them out in the open ocean as opposed to uh, near coastlines. Um, and they're also what we call epipelagic, so they tend to reside mostly in the upper surface waters in the ocean. And it's, it's known that these silky sharks are, are commonly associated with schools of tuna. In the Eastern Pacific, specifically where some research has been done, they're the most common by far uh, shark bycatch species in, in both the tuna persane fisheries as well as the, the tuna pelagic longlines. They tend to be where the tuna are. They do feed on the tuna. In one of the studies I'm specifically talking about in the Eastern Pacific, tuna was the most common uh, item in their stomachs. Um, they do feed on these animals and it's believed that they have some stronger are senses, an animal that lives in the pelagic environment where there's, relatively speaking, not as much life, not as much potential food. Um, it's believed that these silkies have quite keen senses for detecting things from far away. So they may stay in the area where these tuna schools are, and then when these tuna are, are feeding themselves, or when potentially something is feeding on these tuna, um, they can sense that from quite far away and be there quite quickly. The silky shark isn't in, in the Carcharhinidae family, so it looks typically sharky, uh, but as I said, the, the silkies are more adapted for that pelagic environment, the open ocean, constantly swimming. So very sleek, kind of fusiform body, or torpedo shaped almost, you know, fins that are structured for open ocean swimming, swimming quite fast when they need to. Um, and as I said, they can be quite important in terms of trophic webs or what we call food webs, because in many instances, these silkies are gonna be if not at the top of the food web or food pyramid, um, fairly high, playing an important role in what we call top-down pressure, so keeping trophic environments and food webs stable. So in many instances, these silky sharks are gonna play an important part as a predator in these systems. There you go. Come on, there's only four sharks down there, maybe five, <laughs> probably seven, could be a hundred. Oh. What we want today is super strong, super fast, and super light. And that is exactly what you have here with the Shimano Twin Power 5000 XD. What I really like about the reel is the new X-Protect. What they have done is they've really worked on all the paint and all the different little fittings where the parts come together to keep the salt out because ultimately that's what's gonna kill your reel. If the salt water gets in, I don't care if you rinse it off at the end of the day, I don't care if you spray it down. And you know, unless you take it apart, you're gonna have problems. Well, with the X-Protect, it is keeping the salt out. Also, another great feature is the Hagane Cold Forage Gear. Um, they're super strong, the rigidity is there. So when you're torquing on a big fish, you know, we're going smaller, faster, lighter, stronger. You can put up to 50 pound braid on here, even larger if you want, 65. You're gonna be fighting fish with a lighter reel, smaller reel. When you get down cranking, the frame is not gonna twist, which is gonna cause those gears to kinda come disaligned and have a little hiccup in your, it's like shifting the gears in your vehicle. The rigidity's there, the frame's not gonna twist. It's just an amazing fast reel. We'll take this thing offshore, we'll, we'll do a lot of dolphin fishing with it, um, casting for permit, uh, great reel for yellow tailing. Uh, it holds 200 yards of 30 pound Power Pro, uh, 220 yards of 20 pound power pro. So this pretty much can tackle any of the fish on the reef and also some of your smaller uh, offshore species, your pelagics. Another thing I want to tell you about is the, is the super slick by power pro. The super slick is so slick it reduces the friction through the guides on your rod. So when you're making a cast, you're going to cast further than you ever have before. It also, the slickness dampers down the sound that you traditionally hear from Power Pro. Some people like hearing that Power Pro, you know, and some people enjoy the quiet. If you're fishing next to a buddy and he ain't seeing you, you probably want to be quiet so he don't come over there and fish on top of you. But anyhow, you're only as strong as your line on anything. So I'm gonna get mine spooled up right now here at West Marine at the Bait Shack and hopefully get out there and get on some fish.
There's so many tuna down there right now, gentlemen. Yeah! Oh, there we go. Come on, it. Kyle! Come on, baby. That's what we're looking for. That's the one. <laughs> Come on. Come on now. Come on. Save the day, baby. Come on. Ah! Story of my Look, life. There was the tuna. See the tuna that you caught? That you hooked? That was a tuna. Yeah, that's what, that's what got you. Though. Chomp, chomp, chomp. Come on. <laughs> oh, gotta love it, baby. Gotta love it. <laughs> that was a tuna that struck up right there. Yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah, that's the one you hook. Those are all the, all the chunks and stuff going out there. Eh? Oh, was, come on. Big one, too. That was the one. Yep. You know, that's just the way it goes over here. We're totally used to it. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> yeah. You we, get that problem at home all the time. We right? get the bull sharks on almost every shoot from the reef in 20 feet out to swordfish in 2000. If we can get those sharks out of here, I think we can do some damage. You know what I mean? They're definitely the right ones are here. Those, those ones that are swimming through, I mean, they're, they're, they're good 40, 50 pound fish. They're not no little 20 pounders. We were able to keep fishing another extra hour because we were getting light on bait. Uh, we put in a really long day but you know, we, just, we just knew the next school we were gonna get them. And we did get them, but the sharks ate every one. It was shark, 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 shark. Not, you know, 30 pound yellowfins, 50 pound yellowfins. We couldn't stop them, we couldn't bust them. No, I feel bad for Kyle, you know what I mean? He was pumped and jacked and ready to go. But listen, fishing is fishing. Everybody enjoys being out on the water. It was a beautiful day, slick calm. You couldn't ask for better conditions. Uh, I'm sure he still enjoyed himself very much. He's Our tracks are singing nonstop. He's a fishy guy. Um, I think the dolphin swimming up is always a, is a plus. You know, the other thing is that when I look down and you throw 30 chunks and the shark just spins and rolls and sucks Smile. down a, every smiling. single chunk that there was. Yeah. <laughs> Some days the, uh, you get the bear. Yeah. Some days the bear gets you. Absolutely. Sim Rad's Into the Blue, presented by Yellowfin, has been brought to you in part by Simrad. Go with confidence. Scales, every degree of water. Mercury Marine, go boldly. West Marine, for your life on the water. And by Ameritrail, Costa, Power Pro, and by Resorts World Bimini. Break off! You want to grab him? Yeah. Yeah, I'll grab him. Yeah, I'll Are you grab him? You're good at this. You do that every day. If I lose that fish, it's no good. <laughs> Come on, Kyle. It's something we look. We love to do in the Florida Keys. Do you? It's our favorite thing to do. I want to barely hook. Barely, barely, barely hook. Barely hook. Come on, baby. We got plenty of fish. <laughs> Come on, baby. Oh, I can't reach. <laughs> How you guys do this to make it look so easy? <laughs> there it is. There's the dead there grip, baby. Is. There he is. Now you, know, now you know how to do it. I like it. I like it. <laughs> pretty, pretty, pretty Stop fish. It. Look at that hook. Barely. <laughs> Go ahead, drop it out. I can see that thing. That's it. Looked like it was hanging from a little piece of skin. Bro. Yep. Got him. Awesome. Look man. at the colors. But bringing Kyle here was a definitely a plus for us. He knows the area. He's been here a lot. He knows where to get the ice, knows where to get the fuel. Uh, he knows all the shortcuts. And it helped us out because, like I said, we got yeah. wore out last time. Yeah, it made the day go by smooth and easy. He would have worked till midnight. Oh, yeah, yeah. And no, we, no. Had, we had to drag him kicking and screaming. And yeah. he found a spot uh, before we found it. And you know, well, he's it's, got it's all his these, second home. You he's know, got he, walks a lot in, of buddies. he walks in the door, hey, man, they, you know, hey, mom. They, they know Kyle, yeah. and that makes it a lot easier so they recognize us for next time we get here. Yeah, he's on the Insta, Instagram, and he, he's got a lot of buddies that were here. He comes here, and they, they were here last week. They crushed it, 
and they gave us the heads up and, uh, and, and where to go and, and he was free to come over and I'm really thankful and glad that he was a part of it. Um, he taught us a lot, showed us a lot. I cannot wait to come back to this Hilton with my friends and family. I had a wonderful time. It was simple. It was easy. It was a great experience. Can't get over the fact, we've talked about it before, how easy it is to get here, how seamless it is to get here. You come in the inlet, on the left is Customs. Well, you, you see the world famous Big Game Club. You go to Customs, you get your passport punched, and then you're a quarter mile away from the most beautiful resort you see anywhere in South Florida. Crystal clear water. Bring oh, plenty, yeah. bring plenty sunblock, because it is. It's oh sunny. yeah, you bring snorkel gear too. I mean, yeah. just because we're fishing, there's that big ship out yeah, front the there. Yeah, the shipwreck we got to check out. You got to I mean, swim around that and check out all the, I mean, the lobsters, conch, and just all the tropical fish. Yeah. yeah, that's what I enjoy the most about this. This place reminds me of home. It's island life, you know. So if you're in there in the hustle and bustle, and you're stressed out, get on a seaplane, get on Tropic Ocean Airway, you fly over. It's 45 minutes. Port Everglades, Fort Lauderdale, yeah, and the Miami Seaport next to the cruise line. Right there, and you're in, in, you're in heaven in 45 minutes. Look at that. Touchdown. Welcome to Bimini. <laughs> they got all you want, and it's, and it's right here, man. Every amenity you can ever think of. Great time. Let's do it again next year. <laughs>